Hi, my name is Dodi. I'm a musician and a writer, and I feel like I am dreaming all the time. Singer, songwriter, YouTuber Dodi struggles with a mental illness called derealization, and today we're gonna talk about how she manages it and how you might be able to as well. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick announcement for all of my wonderful patrons out there, I'm doing a Patreon Q&A recording it this weekend. So I just made a post, ask your questions and all of that. And if you would like to be a patron and ask me questions that I'll answer in a video, go sign up. Like even at the $1 tier, you get to ask these questions. So the reason I do that is I get a bunch of video requests and this is a way I can make sure that I answer all your questions. So head on over there. But anyways, Dodie is, she's an awesome musician. I just recently kind of got into her music a little bit. I was listening to some of her stuff. I'm like, Dodie's kind of cool. Um, but anyways, I knew that Dodie struggled with derealization. I remember she also helped out Elle Mills when Elle had her kind of mental breakdown um, earlier this year. And this video was actually recommended to me by my buddy, Dr. Alex. By the way, go check out Dr. Alex's channel. It's called Our Pets Health. He's a freaking veterinarian, okay? So I know a lot of you out there, you are cat owners, dog owners. Like he offers so much free advice over on his channel and he has a blog and a podcast. Like go check his channel out if you're a pet owner. I will link it down in the description below. But anyways, he sent me this article about Dodie where she talked a little bit about her deer realization. So I wanted to do some research and see what her experience was uh, like with that. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down two of her videos, one where she first really dove in depth into it, and then I'm gonna use some clips from a video she did with uh, YouTube's licensed marriage and family therapist, Katie Morton. Um, I'm gonna use some clips from that as well, all right? It made me so unhappy understatement that I knew it couldn't be normal. I found out the name last year um, during a mental breakdown and it was super refreshing to find out that I wasn't just going crazy and that it had a name and also that a lot of other people felt like this as well. And also, it's the first step to treating it, right? This first clip right here is something that is is so important, okay? Like, I can definitely relate to what Dodie's talking about. Like, so Dodie was struggling with these symptoms. She, she didn't know what was happening. And if you're somebody who struggles with mental illness, it could be so scary, it could be so confusing, and you think you're going crazy, you think you're going insane, right? But she talks about this this like sigh of relief she got when she finally had a name for it. And I can relate to that because that's what happened when I um, was diagnosed with my generalized anxiety disorder. Like it made sense, like there was a name to it. And one thing that Dodie's talking about is when you get a diagnosis, then you're able to start working on the solution. Like the first step towards solving any problem is acknowledging that there is a problem. So if nothing else, one thing that I want you to take away from this video is go get checked out, okay? Like something that like bums me out is when people watch my videos, especially some of my older videos where I talk about different signs and symptoms of different mental illnesses, and people are like, oh, that's me. No, never, ever, 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 ever diagnose yourself, okay? That is the worst thing you could do. Like, my videos are designed where if you can relate to some of the symptoms, so if you can relate to derealization, feeling like you're in a dream state, like, go talk to your doctor, talk to a therapist, talk to a psychiatrist, whoever it is, talk to a mental health professional. So. Here's how I am dealing with it. Firstly, I'm not giving up on treatment. I haven't found anything that works so far, but I'm not giving up. So yeah, I get so many people who who ask me for tips, tricks, all these other things, and I love, I love this video from Dodie. I was just telling my lovely girlfriend Tristan while we were making dinner and watching this video, like this is the type of video that I look for. This video of Dodie's is the type that I look for, all right? So like, the reason I love this video is because she talks about how much effort she's put into her mental health, all right? And that's something that I keep trying to teach all of you guys. Something that I always say is that you don't have to do everything 
just do something, okay? Because our mental health is not something that's just gonna fix itself like on its own. That just doesn't happen, okay? And so many people stay in their own suffering because they refuse to get help, they refuse to try anything. So the first thing that Dodie talks about is TMS. I've also had TMS treatment, which I've talked about briefly before, um, but basically it's transcranial magnetic stimulation. What? Sounds a bit freaky, but essentially it's like sending little electromagnetic pulses to the part of the brain that might cause the derealization. It's just like giving it a bit of a kick and stimulating blood flow. Hey mom, would you like to see something freaky? Uh. This this is an interesting type of therapy. So those of you who don't know, like it's not <laughs> it's not electroshock therapy. It's 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 a it's a very tuned down version of that. All right. So what they do is they focus on different parts of the brain and it sends little electrical pulses to kind of uh, stimulate blood flow. Um, if you have health insurance and if you're in the United States, check with your insurance provider and see if there's. Um, any coverage for transcranial magnetic stimulation. I've heard I've heard mixed reviews about it. Here's what I'll say about TMS. I haven't heard anything bad, all right? Worst case scenario that I've heard about TMS is that it didn't help, all right? So like, my philosophy when it comes to trying out different methods to improve your mental health is like, unless there's like some severe risk, like go ahead and just try it. Like what's the worst that can happen? Like the only thing that can happen is that you you get better. The worst thing that can happen is that you stay the same, all right? So, but talk to a doctor, I'm not a doctor. Like, like I said, from my experience, I've never done TMS, but everybody I've talked to and the research I've done about TMS, I haven't heard of anybody having like a really bad experience with it. But this is more for people with depression, not necessarily derealization. Also, I'm starting CBT on the NHS tomorrow. I have an appointment. I'm very excited. I'm open to that helping. It might not, and that's okay. So in this video, this video is a little bit older, and Dodie was talking about trying CBT. CBT stands for Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Now, CBT is one of the best, one of the best evidence-based therapies. If you don't know what evidence-based therapy is, it is a therapy that is specifically proven by science to work. All right, so CBT is extremely helpful for a wide range of mental illnesses, anxiety, depression, PTSD, addiction, so many things. So if you could find you a therapist who specializes in CBT, go get that therapist. Well, make sure the therapist doesn't suck. But anyways, CBT is a great um, form of therapy. So this again is to recognize like, um, troubled thought patterns. Uh, it can also help with bad behaviors too. So what you're trying to do is work on identifying these, these toxic behaviors or toxic thought patterns. Because a lot of us, we get stuck in what we call thought traps where one bad thought spirals into another bad thought, spirals into another bad thought, and then next thing you know, we're doing something, right? So with derealization, like something that I didn't hear Dodie talk too much about, she talks a little bit about it with Katie Morton, is being triggered, which causes the derealization, right? So what CBT can help you out with is noticing when that trigger happens, right? And then changing the behavior or doing something about it and addressing it before you start to disconnect. I think, I guess mine, I think I had like, yeah, like a little collection of everything that happened to me in the space of like two years. Um, and then my brain disconnected. And since then it's been like, this is fine. <laughs> we can, we could just stay here. And I'm <laughs> trying safer. to, yeah, I'm trying to get it back and be like, no, I can't deal with it. Just give it all back. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out a way in. All right, now this, this is the second video, okay? This is with Katie Morton. So one thing that I was missing from the first video, well, I wasn't missing it, I didn't make it, Dodie made it, <laughs> was that um, we didn't really hear, like she talked about how she had a troubling time in 2012. She dived a little bit more into that in 2012 to 2014, I believe she said with Katie. And like, yes, so this is something that a lot of people with derealization or depersonalization or dissociation struggle with, is that this is often, often a symptom of PTSD, some kind of traumatic experience, or just a, a really stressful time in your life. So I'm not sure what happened to Dodie. I'm actually thinking about getting her book now to see if she talks about it in there because I'm, I'm just interested and curious. I'm always interested to see what kind of life events cause different mental illnesses because so many are preventable, especially if you're somebody, you know, um, who, who was in a, uh, how do I say that? How do I say that? Not preventable, not preventable for the person, but for us as people, we can potentially cause a mental illness in someone else, and that is messed up, all right? Like, for example, 
many people, not all people with borderline personality disorder, but many people with BPT had a traumatic childhood. And that's messed up to me. That's why I encourage parents to be better. But anyways, it's important to, you know, seek help and try to identify what your triggers are or what that experience was. Because what I'm always trying to teach you guys, and especially when it comes to therapy, right? Like sometimes, you know, support groups or journaling or whatever can help you figure it out. But I'm always trying to teach you to get down to the root of the problem. So many of us stay in prolonged episodes of mental illness and our own suffering because we're only looking at the surface level stuff. We're not looking at the root of the problem. Once you get down to the root, then you can start working on it. So Katie recommends a few different types of therapy. She talks about how she specializes in like talk therapy. That's her preferred method. And this can be very helpful. Um, go check out my Illymation videos, especially um, my last one that I made about uh, her and Holly. Like when you can, um, help your brain process the story of what happened, sometimes your brain starts to heal. But the other thing that Katie was talking about is something called EMDR therapy, all right? The one that I find works best is like trauma-based treatment. That's why I was curious if you tried EMDR, but mm -hmm. you said that you did, and that doesn't work for everybody either. Mm -hmm. And also like, it can be really awkward. I'd like to try it again, because it was really awkward. I think that's the main thing that kind of like pushed me away from it, because we tried, you know, she did all mm -hmm. this stuff, and then we went through a memory and I didn't do anything. I don't know if I did it wrong or like I was just too nervous or spaced out. It just felt a bit awkward, so I kind of ran away from it. This is used many, many, many times for um, people who are trying to overcome trauma. And this is something where they're still doing research and studies on, but it stands for eye movement desensitization and reprocessing. I think that's what it is. <laughs> EMDR, whatever it is. But a lot of people with PTSD, war veterans, um, you know, uh, cops, firemen, people who have been the victim of abuse, they are typically going to try EMDR therapy. So I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Katie mentions that this doesn't necessarily help with derealization, but I would argue that if your derealization is based on trauma triggers, then it might help. The somatic experiencing is a lot of like mind-body connection. So recognizing how you're feeling, experiencing like, all of your uh, senses. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of mindfulness. Mm -hmm. That last one that she's talking about, a schema, is actually something I'm not familiar with. But there's so many things that I hear about. Like DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy, it's mindfulness, all right? Schema therapy, what uh, Katie's talking about, it's mindfulness training, okay? So DBT therapy is great. So I'm going to link some resources down below and I'll remind you again at the end of this video. But like there's an excellent book I read about DBT therapy where like if you can't afford therapy, like get this book because there's a lot of practices that you can do on your own. And it's about borderline personality disorder, but just trust me, like if you struggle with any of these derealization or depersonalization or dissociation systems, uh, symptoms or even like emotional dysregulation and, and even if you don't have BPD, check this book out, please for the love of God. And finally, um, if you suffer with this, like me, you're not alone. I bet there will be loads of people in the comments who are also spaced out all the time or who struggle with this now and again or all the time like me. Yeah, let's make friends. Share some tips. And I just called back to the first video that I showed you because I want to show that clip. Like something that's really important for anybody struggling with mental illness is to know that you are not alone. That's one of the reasons I have this channel. That's one of the reasons why I try to do so, so, so many collaborations is because I want my audience, I want all of you to know that you are not alone. You are not the only one struggling with this thing. I know our brain likes to tell us that we are the only one struggling with our issues, but we never, ever, ever, ever are, all right? That is why like in all the descriptions of all of my videos, you will find links to our Facebook group as well as our Discord server. Come join us, connect with other people so you don't feel so alone, take suggestions from others. Like that is something absolutely free that you can do to get help for yourself. But anyways, I do wanna thank Dodie if she ever sees this video. I appreciate whenever a YouTuber is so open and honest about their mental health and Dodie is very, very open about it. And I look forward to following more of her story and her journey and see how she does. But anyways, if any of you struggle with 
derealization, depersonalization, or deassociation, or there are other topics that you want me to cover about this, like let me know down in the comments below, okay? And don't forget, I've provided some resources down below for things that might be able to help you out if you can relate to any of these symptoms, okay? But that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. We got like three or four new signups today. And remember, if you wanna be part of the Patreon Q&A, make sure you click or tap right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.